Hi everyone, this is Anil. In this video, we will do a walkthrough of new ServiceNow community uh, site. So the URL is now changed. It is called servicenow.com slash community. And this is the welcome page. So welcome to our ServiceNow community. And there's a welcome guide here, which will tell you uh, the new URL and uh, what are the features which are added and so on. But at high level, like if you see here, uh, the content types have changed. So previously, uh, uh, like, and also who can author the content has changed. So questions everybody can do, comments everybody can do. Previously, articles and blogs were also open for all the community members. Now uh, uh, it has changed. So only MVPs, thought leaders, and employees can post articles. And blogs can be done by MVPs, raising starts, thought leaders, and employees. And uh, yeah. And if you want to be a thought leader, then you have to send an email to this email address, community core at servicenow.com, and they will be able to help you with that. And also in terms of, uh, they have renamed some of this uh, content types. So let me find that. Yeah, so the terminology. So previously it was called levels, now it's called ranks, product forums, product hubs, private forums, private groups. Uh, topics are changed to labels, questions, product discussions, videos to blogs, and helpful to kudos. So that's changed. And also, uh, if you see here, navigation has changed as well. And also, like the profile recognition and everything has changed. So previously, we used to have all these ranks. Now we have all this, uh, like, uh, you know, I think as I mentioned here, it's called, uh, it says levels to ranks, but yeah. So basically, uh, these are all the ranks like Terrapath, Patron, Giga Sage, Mega Guru, Kilo Expert, Contributor, and so on. But I mean, if you see here, uh, mine says, I believe, uh, uh, Terra Guru, but that is not listed here. So, but uh, so it's not listed here, but I take it that that's part of this uh, ranking system, like the further ranks are. Uh, called with those specific names, right? But if you see here, like these are the buckets, like this patron, sage, guru, expert, uh, contributor, and explorer, right? Under these, now they have subsections like giga, mega, and so on, kilo, like that. So that's how this ranking is uh, categorized. And let's look at each of these, the navigations, right? So if you see here, if we go all the way to the top. So product hub is the first piece they have mentioned. So here, you have all these topics like App Engine Studio, CSM, Data Foundation, so on and so forth, right? And then the rest of the stuff is all under more service no products, like all these. Uh, but the high, I think it, it depends on uh, the popularity of each of these products. Uh, they have categorized here because it is not, I'll, okay, oh, it's alphabetical as well. If you see here, like for example, App Engine Studio, CSM, Data Foundations, and so on, but then, uh, I think after this, it becomes uh, part of this more service of products. So let's click on that. And here we'll see all these like environmental, uh, social and governance, FSO, ITIL, and so on and so forth, right? So I could not find telecom for some reason. I was hoping that I will find it, but it's not here in this. Maybe it's in the products, uh, so we'll go to that as well. But yeah, it's not here. Uh, anyway. So that is the first place. And then next we have discussions. So let's look at that. So in our discussions, you have these groups, again, like architects, developers, knowledge managers, admins, and then service or jobs, learning and support. So you have all those uh, categorizations of discussion, discussions. And then similarly, you have uh, uh, blogs where uh, community blog, service no blogs, developer blog. So previously the service no blogs were, the developer blog has its own, uh, you know, like URL. Uh, I think it, this is just taking you there. It still has its own uh, like URL in itself, but this is only navigating you to that developer blog. And service no blogs, again, it has its own URL. So it's just taking you there. And similarly, community blogs, uh, yeah, it's within the community, right? So again, there is there's this restriction now in terms of, as I mentioned, who can post the content. So yeah, that is that. Uh, and next is, uh, let's go back here. Then we have groups. And I think in the blogs, uh, one thing towards observe is uh, now we have for Japanese language, there's a section 
uh, where you have all the content in Japanese. So that's that. And then we have uh, uh, groups here. So let's go back and check it. So here you have uh, snugs or service now user groups, and then special interest groups. So in these, uh, so yeah, service now user groups were there for quite some time, but now the special interest groups they talk about each of these interest areas like manufacturing, yeah, energy, and so on and so forth. And finally, we have community resources, which are these ones, like the welcome guide, guidelines, resources, become an expert, leaderboards, idea portal, all of these. Uh, so let's click on idea portal, for example. So it takes you to support.servicenow.com slash ideas. Uh, I don't know if you still have to sign in to do this, uh, but it looks like you need to, right? So you cannot. Uh, submit an idea without signing in, which is surprising because previously you were able to uh, directly submit it from the community, but now you need to have, I believe, uh, nice now support access to do that. So that's that. And uh, then you have leaderboards, which basically talk about all these leaders here and so on. Uh, yeah, you have last 24 hours, last week, and so on and so forth, right? Same things. Uh, but previously, like, uh, it, it used to show, uh, like, here, the rank of the user who's logged in, but now I think the, that has changed. Now you have to, like, yeah, go to that page where you belong, and then you, you'll find it there. That is that. And then you have uh, become an expert. Let's look at that. So it basically takes you to a, I think a community post again, which talks about how to become an expert. Each of these programs, like Rising Star Program, MVP, and so on and so forth. And then uh, similarly, uh, yeah, the welcome guide, which we are going through uh, at this point. Right. Now, in addition to all this, uh, again, if you see uh, the UI, UI itself has changed, right? A little, uh, by, yeah, by, so, for example, let's go to my profile and uh, I can walk through some of the blog posts to see how the UI has changed, right? For example, now they have added this here. Uh, like if you see here, it shows your name and then your rank. And then uh, if you're online, then your number of posts, solutions, kudos given, kudos received, all of that. And it tells you where you stand in terms of the, I think your uh, kudos received. I think that's what they call it. Previously it was helpful, I believe. Now it was kudos. And solutions are nothing but your answers you have uh, correctly answered. And then, yeah, 97 tells your posts. And it shows you your recent notifications, as in who gave you kudos for which of these posts you have made. And then uh, all that stuff is available here. Uh, and then there are some private stats, which, which you can see as well. Uh, and then if you... Uh, and then you see all those notifications, which previously also was there. Uh, but if you open any of the blog posts, for example, this one here, so you can see that, uh, yeah, the, this UI has changed a bit, right? Uh, so if you, it will tell you the breadcrumb and everything. And if you go, scroll to the bottom, it will tell you like, uh, this section has changed a bit, like the comment section, and then uh, then you can see who has given the helpful and all that here. But you also you actually have to click through. Previously, I think Yahoo was able to give you, but now we have to click through and see. Uh, and if you go to the GRC blog, for example, uh, yeah. So here you have again some more options, uh, and you can also see like. Uh, uh, the top blogs in the section, all that here, and all the labels that are mentioned here. Right? And then the popular blog post and all that stuff is also mentioned here. Right? So at this level, I don't think it allows you to post anything. Uh, again, depending on your uh, community level, you will see the options, I believe. But yeah, that's that. And let's click on this. So here you can see all this uh, different sections like developer documentation, service.com, impact, partner, learning, support, and store. So all those are here. So yeah, that is about the walkthrough of this new site. Uh, 
So I hope you like this new look and feel. Uh, and if you have any comments and so on, you can post that under this uh, this one here. So in the welcome guide, uh, uh, there's a whole lot of comments on this new UI. So you're welcome to post it here, right? Uh, yeah, and then I'm, I'm seeing that there's, we have a lot of responses coming through them. I've come from the service note team to this post. So yeah, you can, again, as I mentioned, if you have any questions or thoughts on this UI, you can post that in this uh, the welcome guide uh, post, right? Uh, thank you for watching. This is Anil.